My father then impregnated two women at the same time, which is my mother and my stepmom. So at the same ooh, time, at the same time, my mother's friend said, "If it was not for you, my friend would still be alive." What happened? Am I not your child? How was it then seeing your father? But I felt I had a sister somewhere. I felt like I'm not alone. So me and my cousin over there, <sighs> one night, we were out. We texted my sister. You are my father's child. And I am sorry that my father hid this from us. Then, now, we go for a DNA test. I knocked, came in. I introduced myself. I am Homoto. I am Kuki's daughter. And you are my father. Sanbunani Dumilang, hello, hola, and welcome to another episode of I Have Been Through the Most podcast. Right here on St. Twins TV, where you see your favorite twins, Innocent and Millicent. And of course, our awesome guests, who don't just come here to entertain, but to inspire, mm -hmm. to educate, to tell their stories, real life stories, real life people exclusively on St. Twins TV. So mm -hmm. thank you so much for joining us. Whether you're listening to us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or watching on YouTube, welcome. We are on different social media platforms. Please go ahead and follow us, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. We are everywhere. We do post our promos, so make sure that you share those and come on YouTube and watch and listen on those digital platforms. Of course, I love the comment streets. Do not watch this episode without commenting on the episode, letting us know what you think, mm -hmm. what you liked, and what you receive of our guests lastly guys we are on a road to 300k <laughs> subscribers on youtube please make it happen for us please can i ask my editor to edit pop 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 there because we are about to hit 300k <laughs> subscribers with your love with your support mm -hmm. we know we can definitely reach this milestone yeah we're just like 60k away I think we just reached 240,000 subscribers on YouTube. Really? Right now, currently, as we shoot this. So, about 60K to go before the end of the year. Hopefully, we're going to mm -hmm. reach 300,000 or even half a million. Guys, we can do it, man. Our videos mm -hmm. go over millions. Anyway, it's not about us, but uh, it's about our awesome guest who's here to share their story. Welcome to the show. How are you, honored to be here. I am very well. Thank you. You are so beautiful. Oh, wow. You. you look beautiful. <laughs> I am you like, look wow. So beautiful. We are so blessed. <laughs> Please, can you introduce yourself to our audience? Before I introduce myself, I would just love to make a little prayer. Yes. I invite yes. the Holy Spirit and I yes, pray Lord. that He yeah. carry my words and put it into the hearts of people. Mm. For the word of God says, we shall live to testify of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Mm. This testimony may reach many people for the glory of the Lord. In oh, Jesus. yes, Lord. Amen. 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 I am Homozo Mutsikwe, born in Bloemfontein, born and bred in Bloemfontein. And yeah, and I'm a born again Christian. I'm a child of God. I'm a servant of God as well. And yes. I was born in 1991, and my story goes like this. My mother died after birth, and prior to that, she was married. After and giving birth to you? Yes, five days after giving birth to me. Yo. And she was married, and she went on a divorce, but the divorce was not finalized. Let's mm -hmm. start there. And she met my father, and she got pregnant. And apparently they were in love. They were inseparable. Even my mother's ex-husband told me this, that they were in love. Mm. And my mother's mm. best friend as well confirmed it. So my mother died after birth when somebody with whom I okay, allegedly saying that it is my father. But last night we, we had prayer session and only to find out that it is my stepmother. Okay, my father then impregnated two women at the same time, which is my mother and my stepmom. So at the same ooh, time. At the same time. So I have. So so is this you, that means it's you? So it's the pregnancy me? referring to to your one, right? In my mother. Nineteen ninety one. In nineteen ninety one. Correct. Mm -hmm. And the wife as well. Nineteen ninety one. So I have a sister. We were born the same year, mm -hmm. the same month, just two weeks apart. Wow. Now. I was raised by my grandmother, as well as you guys. That's yes. why I, yeah, your story was touching. 
and um, after two months, because I was a premature baby, mm -hmm. after being released from hospital, after the funeral has passed and everything, mm. she got into a tragic accident. Who? But my grandmother, oh. my maternal grandmother, but she survived. Thank, Thank you, God. Lord. So now, remember, my grandmother and my mother are from Kimberley. So they are not familiar with the people that are in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But my mother was a very friendly person. She would talk to everyone. Mm -hmm. And yes, and she was also a teacher. After that, she moved into a financial side of her career. And that's when she got pregnant and started making friendships in the neighborhood. And one particular time, she had said to this God-given family, mm -hmm. the grace family that God has given me, that um, after I give birth, I need to go back to work. Can you look after my child? Then my mother went to hospital saying that it's a date to go check. When they found out there was something compli with complications and she gave birth, after five days, she died. Then the funeral passed. Sorry, do you know what the cause of death was? Uh, they said it was natural because um, I came very early mm -hmm. at seven months. So it was a C-section. Uh, okay. And then what the rumors say that they left a scissor inside of her, but it's not true. That's not what they God had... scissors? Like scissors, but that's not what God had revealed to me as I am growing older. Okay. Now, my grandmother gets into an accident, so now she's emotionally wounded and physically wounded so my mother where she went to like make friends make family mm -hmm. where she went the mother from that side came to say you know what cookie told me cookie's my mother cookie told me that after her maternity leave i'm gonna take care of the child so let me take care of this child for you that is where god brought this family into our lives, the Mahalani family. They brought me up and my mother was the only child and my grandmother also was the only child because after birth, her mother also died. So it was a mm. generational curse, but it ended mm. in Jesus' name. So now I, I lived with the Mahalani family. I got gotten the love that I've needed as a child. I grew up well. I didn't have that thing that my mother had passed away. Yeah. And their daughter went to live with my grandmother to help her dress, to bath, mm -hmm. and to get on her feet because she was wounded, her, her, her oh, legs. from the accident. So from the accident yeah. and mm -hmm. her eyes. And that's where we exchanged families now. And I started to call her parents mama and daddy. That's where... I knew love from, a love yes. of a mother. Yeah. And you know what's strange about people is that they will t tell you things. They don't mind their own business. On my seventh, seventh birthday, somebody said to me, oh, happy birthday. You look just like your mom. Her soul rest in peace. My mom is dead. I quickly ran home to ask my grandmother, and she's very strict. My Wait, so, uh, so you didn't, so I guess I didn't, didn't know. They didn't tell you what they didn't. They didn't tell me that. Oh, my, that's the part it, that I, 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 I think we missed. We yes. didn't really get that part yeah. yes. in the story. Yes. So you didn't know I that did. your mother had passed after giving birth to you. Yes. So you assumed your guardians. Yes. Are your biological, are your biological are not, parents? No, I knew they were not biological. I yes. knew that I have a grandmother. Okay. But she's going to work. She was a professional nurse at that time. So she can't take care of me, go yes. to work and stuff. So I would stay with the, the Makhala family. So where, where did you think your mother was? It Maybe in Durban. I remember Durban. I always fascinated about Durban, that maybe so you she would come she's back. There. there was never would... a conversation about your mom no. passing away. No. So at seven, seven years, years and old. Yes, and from I a did, stranger. He, from a stranger, a next door neighbor actually said, "You look your... like your mom." And I ran to my grandmother, and I'm, I was scared of my grandmother because she's strict. Mm. She's very strict, and I asked her, "Can't Cookie passed away?" Yes, she passed away. 
I was going to tell you when you are mature enough. Mm. I don't want anything to affect your education. Yes. Okay. And apparently, when I went while I was still an infant, sure. people would ask, who's the father of this child? And okay. then my guardians, the Makhalani family, would say, it's Mandela. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and I get why they would ask the father, because your mom was married, and then she separated, she, so she, and then met your... your yes. And my father, father was unknown. Yeah. He was only, my grandmother only knew the name, but I never asked of my father because I thought my mother's ex husband is my father because he would call me on my mother's mm. birthday. My mm. mother's, my birthday is on the 7th of September. Yeah. My mother on the 10th. So I'm like, Papa, to me, why do you always call me on this day? This is the day, this is your mom's birthday. Mm. And you, you would come bearing gifts. And so you just assume this is my father. He, and, and the love that you gave me. Did he yeah. it was, Yes, it was beautiful. So where was your father? Okay, we're coming to that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So now, even when coming up, growing up, we'd play on the streets with other kids. My mother's friend, she was just passing. I was playing innocently. Mm. And she said, if it was not for you, my friend would still be alive. <gasps> now... Now that's a wound. To you? Yes, to me. Your mother's friend says that? Yes. My mother's friend. There's no So she way. says, my friend would still be alive. If it was not for you. Yeah. That's when I started having those emotions to cry, to say, God, at least even bring her back for one day. Let me just see her face. Oh. So her how smile. old were you then? I was still maybe 14. So then at under. that time you knew that your mother had passed yes. after giving birth to you. Yes. So then when she says that, it's as if like she's blaming you. She's blaming me. Mm. I mean, then someone like that probably never loved your mom. I mean, why would you say that if you Absolutely. love your friend so much, if you can't love her daughter and, and protect her from saying things like that? Otherwise, it's fine. Mm. I move on, but it, it's still in my heart. I cry and say, uh, it's not me that I, whatever that happened. Mm. And I knew that my mother wanted a child because her friends would tell me like she was struggling to get pregnant mm. in her marriage, but it eventually happened. And when she told my father about the pregnancy, my father said, my shoes, I need to clean my shoes. I'm late. Rejecting the pregnancy. My mother said, you know what? Because I'm independent, I will take care of my child. Wait, so your father? My biological father. Your biological my father. My blood okay. father. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Then mm. years gone by, I think I was doing matric in 2009. This woman, my mother's friend, calls me. And bear in mind, when I meet my mother's friends, they are no longer in the same circle mm, mm. or in the same vicinity where they, they would yeah. tell, tell each other, tell Homoto this, tell her that about her mother. All the story, all the puzzle, it comes together. So this one time I was going to church and going to collect my friend and his mother was like come in close the door show me a newspaper do you know this man i don't know this man said look at this 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 picture look at him read the name who is this person i said i don't know and then he said it's your father sure. strangely enough when i was young i had I don't know if God was communicating with me at that time, but I felt I have a sister somewhere. I felt like I'm not alone. But I never took it to head or to mm. try to tell my grandmother this is what I'm feeling. Mm. Remember, my grandmother is very strict. Mm. She, she, she's very cheeky. So now, um, years pass during matric after I saw the, the, the paper, mm. the newspaper, on my way to school, I just heard a name passing by on the side. I was alone, mm -hmm. sitting in the bus, listening to radio. And the name, my father's name came. But I was like, what is this? And then only to find out that's my father. But I only learned later when I went back to that woman to say, where does my father live? I want to know who my father is. Mm. And then I asked my grandmother. My mom's friend says my father is so and so and so. Yeah. And then she does not want to engage because her wound 
she has never, even now, she's still wounded by the, the loss, by losing my mother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and what my, my, my friends, my mother's friends say about my mom, it's incredible. Mm-hmm. It's very incredible. So if I want to, like, picture my mom, I get her friends to tell me a, a yes. character. I put the puzzles together. I know and that feeling. And, and so good. One thing I loved about my mom's best friend I had depression, I had anxiety because of the rejection. I'll get to that. Yeah. I got my mom's full picture. And after that, the anxiety was gone. Mm. The depression was gone because I saw that my mother was a great person. Yes. She was independent. She was very, she valued friendship. And that's who I am as well. I'm my mother's child, her character, that's yeah. what I carry as well. And I cried a bit saying this is this is beautiful. You're a piece of your mother. Yes. Mm-hmm. Dress code, everything. Yeah. Yes. But she didn't like television and radio. <laughs> That's one <laughs> thing that she did not love. And also, okay, I went back to say, where's my father? Mm. Then she pointed out a wrong house. I went to that house. Your and grandmother? I, no, not my grandmother. Your friend. The, the my, the my woman who friend. showed you your yes. dad initially. Mm. Yes. yes. My grandmother said to me, stop. This is going to affect your education. And I don't want that. We will deal with this later. But, oh, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> but me being very curious, mm-hmm. I went to that house. I knocked. I asked. My name is Homoto. I asked, where is my father? Mm. Apparently, you know where my father is. But they pointed back at my mother's ex-husband. And I said, no, it's not him. It's not him. Then I called my mother's ex-husband, Papa. I used to call him Papa. Papa, what happened? Am I not your child? And then he cried, you were supposed to be my child. I loved your mom. I had my mistakes and I regretted. But now, yeah, that's he, went, he even went into a depression after my mother's passing. Mm. And I said to him that, you know, I am still your child. You are my father. You yeah. give me love. You, you, you. He even knew my shoe size without wow. asking. And I asked him, Papa, how do you know that I would love the scent? Because my wife would have loved it. Wow. And that was beautiful. And uh, unfortunately, he passed away oh. in 2017. And sure, so now so. in varsity. And that's how you know he loved your mom. Because if he can love you as well. It's, it's and look beautiful. after you, even though by the time you came, they had separated with your mm. mom. And she was a lovable. Good yes. man. Even your he's father, man. they were in love, according to what you yes. hear. Yes. And he was also so in love with her. So she, she, she was clearly, you know, a good person deserving of such beautiful love. Listen, mm. listen. Every time when my my stepfather, my mother's husband, would come, he would always ask for my mother's pictures. Mm. Papa, why are you always doing this? I miss my wife. Mm. I miss my wife. You don't know that woman's presence. You don't know Mm. how she loved. You know, her voice, she sang beautifully. And you remind me of her all the time. When I go to his house, my mother's pictures, I find it very weird, my mother's pictures, since this is how I keep her close. Mm. And okay, now I'm in varsity. I start making my own investigations. During matric, I fumbled, listening to the elders saying, no, don't go looking for mm, this man because, because he is trouble. Mm. He is not a good person. I'll be the judge of that. I want to mm. see this person. Let me do this thing on my own. Let me take this journey alone. Then um, I searched I searched and I searched. I even got the surname. Perfect. I googled. I got where he used to work. I called them and I asked them, is this person still available? No. He he's no longer works here. Where does he work? At the municipality. Okay. I called the municipality. They say no. I went to the municipality mm-hmm. and I got the wrong person with the same name. Ooh. Mm. Unfortunately, I can't mention his name because yeah. he's very well known. So, yeah. And I stopped for a bit. And then I went to his office. In varsity, 
I asked, okay, now I know where he's working. Mm. I asked my friend because her sister used to work. She works at the podcasting corporation. Don't don't. And mm. then um, we went. After that, before we went, she said to me, look behind you. Do you see that girl? And I said, yes, that's your sister. Sure. Sure. Did I not see myself? Like you no met your way. sister before you even met your dad. I met my dad after I, I, I later. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I met my sister first. First. Okay. Yeah. Did I not see myself? When you look at yourself and you look at you, I saw exactly Hectic. that. Okay. I saw exactly <laughs> that, and then I stalked her. My journalism. Did instinct, she? No, she did not know anything. She didn't see so anything. Wait, so who no. told you this? Your friend. My friend. My friend. Used, uh, her sister was my father's PA. Oh, okay. Because yes. you were investigating for real. You were like, on I was it. Like, you you were a, a full-time job. Uh, honey, I did journalism. I said, let me put my skills onto work. Yes. Let I'm me gonna practice. Find him. <laughs> and oh. I don't want people to stop me from this. Mm -hmm. Then I had to explain to my friend that you need to take me to your sister. When we get in there, I'll say I'm looking for a bursary. Mm. As long as I can knock on that man's door, I will just offload everything. I don't know where I got the courage. Yeah. I don't know how I even got access. I knocked, came in. I introduced myself. I am Homoto. I am Cookie's daughter. And you are my father. Yeah. And now, with the expression, you can never lie. Yeah. You can never lie. Your expression yes. can edit. That's mm -hmm. when I yeah. knew this is it. And then I said, may I please take a seat? So what happened between you and my mom? And he said, no, we met in Pretoria mm -hmm. while she was on training. And yeah, we had something going on, but mm -hmm. I did not know about the pregnancy. Man, you don't know that I came with sources. I, I have cr credible sources. Mm. I've done my homework. I know. You knew about the pregnancy. Yes. And then... And denied. Yes. But I did not say yes. that to him. Yes. Because you tried yes. to get information. Yeah. So, and yeah. I am... I am and I rem he's, he's, he's my elder. He's my father. I mm. always have to maintain respect. Mm. Re regardless of... Yeah. True. Then, on... We rescheduled a meeting outside his office. We, we went out for coffee and we spoke. And he said that my mother... If my mother was pregnant... She, he, he didn't know because no letter was sent to say that there's a child coming, so we need the family to meet and, yeah, to make wow. yeah amendments. How are they going to work this out? How can that happen even if my mother was dead and yeah. we only knew yes. your name? And my grandmother did not want to open that chapter yeah. because for her, it's painful. It is. And... Okay, he told me that he has kids. He has two kids. And I said, no, I've seen one on campus. Sure. I've seen one on campus. And my little brother, I did not know him at that time. Mm. Okay, all right. Oh. Then he ghosted me, never answering my calls. I could not get... But sorry, before that, how was it then seeing your father? He looked like me. I saw myself. And just the mm. feeling of finally meeting him and having the conversation, how was that for you? Yeah. I felt peace, but I could discern the lies that he was telling me that he didn't know. You mm -hmm. understand? But I felt peace. He even mm -hmm. said that that morning when he was about to take a shower, he had a strange feeling that something strange is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Only to find out this is going to unfold. Was he happy though? That you, he was shocked. you found him? He was shocked. He was shocked. Because if they were in love with your mom... Mm. Listen, and you remember are, there are two women. There's you a look like man. Come on. your mom. Yes, there's that. And I look like him. I look like my no sister. sense of joy, relief in his face? Anything I didn't see that it. gave you something? Mm. Nothing. I just saw the gestures mm. being anxious. Okay. I just saw that he's shocked. Okay. And then hmm. I let it go. And then I told him I'm doing my final year in yeah, in university. And yes. 
just be there for me. I just, I don't need your money. I don't need your money. I just mm. want your love. I just want my father. Mm. I am not there for monetary values mm. or what you have or who you are, your position or yeah. anything. I'm genuinely looking for my father. All right. He still ghosted me. Then I went to court and then they summoned him. And then he called me saying that, do you know if you're doing this, then our relationship, that the one that you say you want to create mm. is mm. going so to be... it's your problem now. Yeah, mm. it's going to be um, always be legal, only on legal terms. Mm. Then I told him, Papa, I'm not, I'm not naive. I'm only dropping the charges because I love you and I want us to be a family. Mm. <laughs> and he ghosted me. I dropped the charges, he ghosted me. So me and my cousin over there, <sighs> one night, we were out. We texted my sister. Mm. We texted my sister and the next morning, she called. Let's meet for breakfast now. What did you say in the text? Uh, I can see that you love God. You were a woman of God and you were a lovely person. I always see you on campus. I really can't remember all everything. <laughs> yeah. But if you're a child of but God, you're just... like, you're a child yeah, of God. Yeah, okay. yeah. You need <laughs> Let's to understand. Do this. <laughs> you need to understand where I'm yeah. coming from. But your father is my father. Sure. And the next, he, she did not waste time. Yeah. She called me, say, let's meet up. I had to drop my cousin off home and go back to town. And we met. And as soon as I've ordered, she looked at me and said, you are my father's child. Mm. This is exactly what he had, would have ordered. Food wise. Food wise. Whoa. You are my father's child. And I am sorry that my father hid this from us. Mm. Okay. And then I didn't know that I was on a journey to meet my heavenly father. God that became my personal father. Mm. That is the most beautiful thing ever. Mm. I, I then got introduced into the prophetic ministry and I went with her to church. It was, I was, that, that so feeling. So she's a church girl as well. Yes. That wow. feeling that what I got odds? when I was young, that mm. I have a sister is now materializing. Yes. And then I told her that, you know you what? You knew it, but you couldn't vocalize it. And look it. how divine the relationship is. It's not it's just so like similar. It, it just <laughs> connected another level. But also, sister, remember, her mom passed away days after she was born. She, she didn't have anyone biological in her life. Mm. I mean, immediate, not biological, immediate. immediate. Right? Mm. She never, the dad was wherever he was, you know, mm. the mom had passed on. So here's sister. like a sister, someone immediate. And you know what? I loved every moment of it. Mm. I loved every moment of it. And she said to me, let's go to church. It's a prophetic ministry. When I got there, she introduced me to our spiritual father. And then he looked at me. He said, don't look anymore. She is the one. Don't look. This is your sister. This is your father's child. I don't have to ask. I don't have to search in the spirit. I see it. That's when I fell in love with Jesus. Because when I entered that ministry, love overflowed. Mm. Love overflowed. And I am glad that it happened at that time. I am glad that God had revealed everything at that time. Because if I was not in the presence of God, I was going to be a flower that would die. Yeah. But once I have, I was broken, he would always water me back to life. Mm -hmm. I kept on loving. I kept on loving my sister. I kept on loving my father. Then now we go for a DNA test, mm -hmm. which the, the wife asked for. Fair mm -hmm. enough. Just a prick. Oh, because your sister obviously went back home. And yes, said, to confront the to parents. To confront mm -hmm. the parents. Yes. yes. Just a prick. It won't do anything. And I know that I belong here. I, this is my family. Sisa, we're going to buy clothes. We're going to do nice things together. We're going to start a business together. Yes, I loved it. And one day, I, I remember I was still in varsity. Mm -hmm. um, he called me. My father called me after the test, after two weeks. And then he said, I, I have the, the, the tests. Mm -hmm. But I said, I, we needed to go together. Yes. We needed to mm. go together. Yes. Why did you go alone? 
age, but I knew, but I thought in my mind, it's going to be nice. Uh, we are over this now. When I got home, we met at home at my grandmother's house and they were negative. Negative. 0.0 stating that this person and this person do not relate. And then after they have left, my grandmother called me into the room. said, I told you to stop looking. Mm. Look at you now. But one thing I ask of you is to forgive. Mm. Forgive because Jesus also forgives our sins. Right. I drove out, took my car, drove out. It was sometime in July. It was dark, half past seven. I told myself I am going to drive into a truck. Before mm. I do that, I had the very same voice, the soft, still voice of God saying, don't do it. Jesus said, I've been through that. I know what you were feeling. I was rejected. I know. Don't do it. Then I ended up in a club and I told myself, you know how the enemy is so slick? Mm. Playing with your mind, using your, your, your weaknesses. Mm. I told myself, I am going to destroy relationships between father, fathers and daughters. Mm. If he has invested money for a child to go to school, I'm going to take it. I'm going to live the lavish life. Because my father was, I was robbed, you understand? Mm. But that time, I don't know if it was God, God's grace, that man said to me, I can see you are not this girl. I can see that you are innocent. Whatever that you are going through, you will mm. get through it. I'm not going to touch you. I'm not going to do anything. The next day, I go to varsity. They call me. My father and his wife, they mm. call me and say, it does not matter the result. I am still their child. I was crying the whole day. I this didn't is your, your father? Yes. Sure. But it, it was the, the, the wife speaking, mm, saying yes. that, you know, um, I, I love you. And it does not matter what the DNA results were. So you can come home anytime. Wow. And no, wait for it. I, I'm, wait for I'm the just like, like, I'm also like, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> We still need to <laughs> fix these DNA tests. Listen. So now also she she tries saying that I am crying. I, d I did not show up for my exams. I failed a semester and I faced academic exclusion. All right. I sat home six months and still going to church. And also the prophecies went out that they changed the results so that I cannot have access to my father's money. They're thinking that I'm going to take over my father's money. Mm. But I said, God, you know my heart. You know my heart. Mm. And at that time, God had revealed to me, I'm growing spiritually now. Yes. I'm no longer yes. a spiritual baby. Had you been brought up by those people, you wouldn't have been here. Because your grandmother prayed since you were born. After your mother has died. Even my grandmother confirmed it. She prayed. When I was one month, she prayed. And the doctors told them, told my grandmother that I won't live up to five months. <laughs> so they wanted to operate me, that I have a growth. My grandmother said no. She only worked with prayer. She only worked mm -hmm. with prayer. And also, to just divert a little bit, I, ha I had um, her cousin, um, which I call my aunt, started to come to visit but she never loved my mom she never loved my mom mm. and I remember I was told that after the funeral that she was claiming my mother's car but everything was to my grandmother all the assets were pushed to my to my grandmother and now grade one she started coming I started visiting her and until I was a teenager and I loved her I loved her so much, I took her as a mother. Mm. Literally, I could feel when she set her, her foot in bloom, I would know that she's there. When I get home, I would sense with my spiritual senses that this person is here. I could smell her from afar. She's, mm. And when she comes home or I get her home, I will be very happy. When she leaves, I become broken. Because I'm trying to fill that void yeah. that, yeah, yeah. I do not have a mother. I would write Mother's Day cards. Until this other time, I was on my periods as girls. Then I, I hid 
where I messed up the bed. And then she became angry and said, I'm no longer your mother. Stop writing me mother, Mother's Day cards. You are not my child. This is your aunt? Yes. Okay. Very close to my grandmother. Mm. Very close. This is the person that I would visit every school holiday. Mm. And while visiting her, they took my undergarments with the period to mm. go and dabble with witchcraft, my school certificates. To go consult with? Yes, to ah. just take my light. Even last night when we were praying, yeah, it manifested that she took my star, she did something with my my luck, and she took my 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 underwear, and that's why I'm struggling with fertility. I have infertility issues. I was diagnosed with PCOS, but just like Hannah prayed, I'll keep on praying. Yes, yes. and this is the woman that I sure. loved. This is the woman that I loved, but by God's grace, I started. Being aloof, I, I've withdrawn from her. And there was no feuds, there was nothing. Mm. Because I also remember her telling me that I always wanted to go to Kimberley. Because I had a little bit of freedom. My grandmother was strict. So there I had a little bit of freedom. I can spend time with my friends until mm. probably 8 o'clock. And um, she would tell me that, you know what, we're going to go to Cape Town. And... When we get there, you will do the chores and everything. I remember fixing a playlist and then she said to me, I told you to, to sweep, to mop. Why are you not doing it? And she said, I have only one child, only one responsibility. You are not my child. And then it hit me when she apologized. It hit me when she apologized. And then I started seeing the gestures of her son. When I tried to hold his mother's hand, he would just, you know, take my hand away. Mm. When I would write a Mother's Day card, he would take it and, you know, throw it away. So there was jealousy. There was jealousy as well. Mm. And I couldn't understand why. You understand? So um, then we drifted apart. We drifted apart after she had told me that. I wanted to stay in Kimberley. We went from, for a funeral and my grandmother does not like sleepovers. I now understand. Mm -hmm. She's a very wise woman. Mm -hmm. And... She said to me, don't worry, you will come next time. Your grandmother will die. I will take the money. I will wow. take the house. <laughs> we'll live happily after. <laughs> I was like, not with my grandmother. Not with my grandmother. N nobody has been there for me like my grandmother. So then that's when we cut ties. I no longer go there. I no longer visit them. It's fine. We will just only meet during family occasions or funerals. It's fine. And coming back to my father, and she also told me this, the person that I took as a mother, that um, I remember my friend was looking for her father. I was like, girl, you know, with investigation, I'm deep. Let's go. And then we found her father. And then when we came back, she was angry. And then she told me that I know who your father is and I will never tell you where he is. Don't ask me about your father. But she's willing to help Someone else. Someone else. But not you. It's okay. Right. Then coming back after the DNA results, I failed the semester. I then had to stay six months, but in prayer as well, by God's grace, I then obtained my degree. And then my sister, yes, my sister also got her degree as well before me, a year before me. And what broke my heart is that my father bought her a car. Not that I was jealous, but it was some out of spite to show, to tell me that, you know what, I will Not even do it in, in your face. Sure. You don't want to be, you don't want to keep away. You keep on coming. You have this love. You keep on showing up. We don't want you. And then I cried the whole night. I cried the whole, not out of jealousy, but mm -hmm. what about me? What about me? I'm telling you, the cars would park like this. They will go. Be, their petrols will be filled, but my car would be left. There will be no petrol in my car. <laughs> I was that excluded, and so what? You were visiting them. I was visiting them now because wow. of my sister. Because of my sister. Phew. 
because of my sister. I, I had that connection. How was your, your stepmom? You know a person that pulls a facade. You know a person that knows like how to pretend. That's what she did. And the Holy Spirit sort of taught me this, that, okay, my father called down everyone, wake up, come and see, I have a surprise. He brought my stepmom a car. And the Holy Spirit was saying that it's for an apology for you showing up. Mm. Now, mm. when my, my, my mother's best friend, my mother And you me, wouldn't need to feel the guilt if the DNA test were really negative. Exactly. They wouldn't even let you come and visit. Exactly. Now you're there with them every day because... Listen, it was <gasps> hectic. It was hectic. All right, it's fine. Then my father retired. He took everybody to Cape Town. I was left with the helper. And then I was like to the helper, I'm not here At for their that. house. At their house. You know what? I also Man, want to... I have you love, got love, 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 Shem. Yo, oh, too much. Yo, yo, <laughs> you are sitting there this entire time. I'm sitting with this all the rejection. out. And listen. Such, like, remember, say, when people do things, they don't have to say things. Yes. Their actions, their actions are words. It, so they're communicating with all this, with everything, and you're still there. I'm still there. And he took everybody to Cape Town. I was like, I'm not going to be sad. It's his money. But now because it's in his own retirement, I'm going to keep aloof. I don't want to be the person that's here to say, uh -uh, I want this. I demand a new car. I demand this and this and that. And yeah, I left it there. And then things didn't go well for them. They were facing challenges. And in 2020... He said to me, he, ne he needs to make a, a, a like Thanksgiving. Not not Thanksgiving, like mm -hmm. to 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 Welcome. acknowledge me, my welcoming. Yes, yes. They need to slaughter a sheep. I said. So he forgot about the DNA now that it was negative. Listen, that's how I was sitting on that coffee table. I am not your child. How come? Am I going when to it do suits this? you because mm. yes. your things aren't going right? Yes. And bear in mind, he cannot mention my mother's name. When he refers to my mother, he refers to my mother as the late. Mm. So I kneeled down that day and prayed, say, God, be my personal father. There is no slaughtering that I'm going to be part of. There is, I'm not going to eat anything that has been slaughtered. Be my father, be my provider. And God showed up. Mm. God showed up. He's faithful. And I have seen him. I have seen his great works, yeah. honestly. And if it was not for grace, if it was not mm. by his mercy, I would have ended up in the streets. But that's why I'm writing a book, Raised in the Hands of Grace, mm. to tell, like, you know what, there is life. Even though your father and your mother may reject you, the Lord will receive you. There is mm. life in Christ yeah. and life in abundance. Yeah. And that void, the Holy Spirit... That that oh, void, the Holy he Spirit, it. he fills it. So now I am matured enough in the spirit to mm -hmm. say, forgive, forgive. You need to forgive this person. Even tomorrow you feel it again, you need to forgive. forgive them. Even when they don't apologize, you have to forgive You, you have to forgive. What's your relationship now with your sister, with your and your father? So I walked away and then spent, okay, in 2020, I went back again and I had a dream. I got into a car accident physically and then they towed my car back to the house and then when I slept that night, his wife came to the dream. He said to me, you know, I don't want you near my family or you will see something dangerous. Something dangerous will happen because I've been showing you signs that I don't want you here. I take my dream spirit, uh, um, seriously because mm. that's how God communicates. Okay. I even dreamed of her, dreamt of her telling me that your father loves you. He wants to do so much for you. And I am standing in front of her, in front of him. Mm. He will never do anything for you. Mm. And I'm like, God will vindicate me. It's okay. Then there is a strange man that comes to say that he's my father. Hey. Sent by the enemy. And he's telling me that all the dirty laundry of my father. And I'm like, you're not my father. So how is this person coming physically? 
physically. This, this is okay. This person finds you and says, I'm your father. Yes. And I'm like, no, you're not my father. I've never heard of you. My friend's mother, my, my friends of my mother's, mm. they never ever spoken about you. I don't dream about you. I don't get you any could just feel it. Like, mm. And I don't connect with this mm. person. But now when he comes, he comes as he wants to use me as an ammunition to go against my father. And I tell him, I have forgiven my father and I love my father. I love him. And I then disclose this with my father. There's a certain enemy of yours. He knows you very well. He knows your house. He knows where everything mm. is. And there are so many people that are against you, that are jealous of you, that are coming to me to say, go steal something of your father. Go steal his ID. Go steal this and this and that. Yeah. And I stayed loyal because of love. Yeah. And I will never let the enemy use me like that. Mm. That's why forgiveness is important. Yes. Because you need discernment throughout that. This is the agenda of the enemy. Yeah. And only to find out that they are gunning against my father. My father's downfall. So things are not going well for him right now. And I am praying for him. Mm. And I told him that I've forgiven him. And I love him. I always remind him. Even though when he does not communicate with me, I always say, but this person, this person does not love me the way I want him to love me. Mm. But I'm the instrument of Jesus. Yeah. Other people will never mm -hmm. get to read the Bible. I'm the walking Bible. Yes. Let me just express the love yes. of God. Mm -hmm. And just in the nick of time, that's when he told me he's not okay. No matter what he tries emotionally he cannot sleep and that's when his deliverance has started his deliverance now like he's in the process of deliverance mm. wow your and sister my sister she now diverted into the other kingdom and um she would always because i was in in, in hospital for depression and anxiety mm -hmm. and for a long time, for two years mm -hmm. or two and a half years, it went away. And then it started coming back when this man comes to claim that he's my father. Yes. I started triggered. feeling, and Ish. yeah, it triggered me. Mm. And it was bad. So my sister would always give me advice that is not of God to go and consult. That's okay. not me. If I need to consult, we consult with Jesus. Yes. We, we, we pray we pray on our knees. We read the Bible. And you know Jesus. I don't know why you are sending me Ish. and to those people. Mm. I am a product of grace. And mm. I want to stay where I am. Even though I don't get what I want at my time. But I know the Lord will give me everything that I need at the perfect time. Mm. So that I can maintain it by his grace. That's all. Wow. Mm. So you never like secretly took your sister like let's go do a DNA test no. girl because wow. <laughs> there were, because I, I don't have that information that she yeah. needs. If you look at her you see yourself if you that's how it <sighs> is. So but are you guys close now? We still? were close. We you were, were you are not we, close. We yeah. were close. Um I just got a revelation that I must just step away for a little bit. Okay. Uh for spiritual protection. Yes. And yeah. So that and your dad, when last did you speak to him? Yesterday, I told him I'm coming to the podcast. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> you are such a nice Hi, person. daddy. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> and I want to let him know that I love him. Yes, wow. Jesus loves him, mm. and there's nothing that can ever take away the love I have for him. Nobody. You know, I'm a girl. I'm a I'm a daddy's girl. Your daddy's girl. Yeah, I was raised no, by I my can father. Tell. I love him I so much. Tell. I love him Such so much. Such unconditional love, Sissy, without it being reciprocated to you is incredible. It amazes me. Yeah, and I really hope one day it does become like a two-way relationship. I hope Where so. he can love you and you can love him and you guys can have a beautiful relationship. And I think um, where some people miss it, I don't know if it's um, wrong teachings or what, that it's possible for him to have his family love his wife and his children, but also have a relationship with you. I don't see how this is a A or B thing, you know. I, 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 I wish he could it's really deep. find it. You know, I know it's deeper than that, but I think really God sent you to him. He needs you now, as you can see. And yes. I really hope that your relationship with Christ can bring you guys closer. 
without breaking his family, but have a beautiful relationship a with beautiful you because union. you are just so amazing. Uh, I, yeah, wow. I hope he receives the love that you are giving. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> because beautiful. I also asked myself that question when my sister got married. Um, his parents passed away. Mm -hmm. And then I remember my stepmother making a speech that I, I accept you. You are my child. You don't have parents. If you Call me if you need a mother. And then with my little brother's girlfriend, um, also, she, she received her with love. But I said, this woman has the capacity to mm. accept, but she does not want to accept mm. me. But light... Darkness cannot comprehend light. Oh, yes. I understand and I'm not shaken by her rejection. The one that hurts the most was from my father. Mm. And now this is when I'm becoming strong in the Lord. And yeah, yeah and I thank Amen. him for his faith, faithfulness upon my life and his mercy. Amen. Honestly. Oh, what a yes. beautiful way to close it off. That was a, a full packed episode. I mean, look, we left wow. no stone unturned. And yeah. I think you're an incredible person. Thank you for sharing your story. Thank you for being so spiritual and for being so brave and unapologetic of who you are. I think self-identity is something that is so critical, especially as you grow spiritually, so that you're able to understand the things that don't even make sense. It's a very good place to be in. Yeah, and, and as you, you know, claim back your light um, to people who have, you know, yes. stolen it <laughs> or taken it, but God is a God that restores. He has Whatever light. belongs to you will come back to you. Mm -hmm. That yes. light that you were born with, that belongs to you. You were That's given by you. God to you. So that light must come back to you and it will and it has already started. Oh, thank so you. never oh, no. be unapologetic. You are a daughter of the king. And that's just what it is. Thank and you, you living so your true self is a ministry on its own. Mm. To introduce what Christ has done to you, you are introducing Christ to people. Yes, so absolutely. all the best Thank to everything you that you're your doing. Story. Please keep us updated. Because <laughs> what, what, a a story. Story. <laughs> what a What a <laughs> What a What a movie. <laughs> <laughs> what I, always, a movie. I always tell, jokingly saying to my friends, yeah, Guys, it, yes. this is a script. Yeah, because no, wow, <laughs> sometimes I wake up and say, "Wow, this is too <laughs> much." Yo, but I, I but now I movie. laugh about it. I used to cry, but now I yeah. laugh about it because God has redeemed me. You've done the work, the and He has God given me oh, yes, yeah. and He has given me an identity. Whether the DNA is His. Or is not. I have an identity in Christ. Yes, that's Ooh. that's beautiful. That's and that's beauty. beautiful. And that's enough. And, and I know she can talk, right? We have to go. <laughs> we have to go. We'll link all her details in the description box below. Remember to subscribe. Yeah. Road to 300k subscribers right here on YouTube. Yeah. It's been a great show. Thank you very much. God bless you. And we're looking forward to all your successes. Yes. Daddy, Thank hi. You so much. Okay. Hi, Daddy. From myself, <laughs> Innocent, and myself, Millicent, and our awesome guest, Homoto, and our unbelievable team right here. And I've been through the most. It's bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>